How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And if you're looking for a VPN to simply change your location, chances are you're not trying to just change your location for the sake of changing location. You're actually trying to, well, perhaps access foreign markets, bypass some geo restrictions or access some streaming services. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, these VPNs will get the job done. So if you're interested in any of these VPNs mentioned today, be it Express, Nord or Surfshark, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews, which will give you more of an in-depth look into the ins and outs of these VPNs with regards to the privacy policy, speed, streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. So be sure to check those out if you'd like to learn more. Now let's go through some bits and pieces of information, including how many locations are available, and then I'll demonstrate to you how you can change your location using any of these VPNs. Starting with ExpressVPN, you've got over 3,000 servers in 105 countries. So, of course, by having the most amount of countries, you'll be able to access the most amount of services, streaming services, and other kind of markets or foreign websites that are not available to you. I've tested ExpressVPN with over 100 streaming services and it only did not work with two out of these 100. So, there's an over 95% success rate with accessing new libraries with ExpressVPN which is just incredible. And most VPNs struggle with accessing just one library with Netflix. So it's very impressive. Not to mention that it'll also allow you to secure up to eight devices per subscription. Now, moving on to NordVPN, you've got over 5,800 servers in 60 countries. So that's 45 less countries than ExpressVPN. But you still do have plenty of regions, of course, at your disposal. You've also got various features right here that'll contribute to securing your device even further. And you do have basic VPN features like the kill switch and split tunneling. And not only do you have the conventional kill switch, but also the app kill switch. And this is kind of special to Nord. And this will allow you to choose which applications you would like the VPN to terminate. And it will terminate those specific apps when you lose connection to the VPN, as opposed to disconnecting your entire connection with the conventional kill switch. And you also have an easy way to change your DNS with custom DNS, which can be very useful for a lot of folks. So overall, NordVPN is a great option as well. Now, if you're looking for something even more budget friendly, you can go with Surfshark. You've got over 3,200 servers in 100 countries. So that'll be 105 with Express, 60 with Nord, and 100 with Surfshark. And you still have a couple of specialty servers here. You also get an ad blocker called CleanWeb here, a reliable kill switch, as well as split tunneling, which is called Bypasser here. Of course, if you didn't know what split tunneling is, it allows you to select which applications you'd like to go through the VPN and which you don't want to go through the VPN. So if I wanted to just have the VPN connect to my, let's say, torrenting client, I can have the VPN only affect the torrenting client and nothing else, or vice versa if I'd like to. This is a very useful feature. Okay, now before we connect to one of these VPNs, I'll go ahead and use ExpressVPN to demonstrate because that's what I like to use on the daily. All you need to do is just click one of these buttons and you should be good to go. Now, I would definitely recommend using the lightweight UDP protocol with Express. That is the best performing protocol. On uh, NordVPN, you wanna make sure you're using the NordLynx protocol. And again, on Surfshark, you should be using the WireGuard protocol, which is again, the best performing protocol in Surfshark. So these VPNs are very high performing overall. So in terms of speed, you're good to go. But in terms of accessing regions and stuff, go for ExpressVPN. So for reference, ExpressVPN is able to access over 20 to 25 Netflix libraries and much more. Whereas NordVPN is not gonna be able to access as many just because it has 45 less locations and Surfshark can still actually contend fairly well with ExpressVPN, except that Express is a little more consistent in my experience. Now, if I go ahead and connect to France here, you'll notice that the IP finder says I'm in France right here, and it's very easy changing your location. Let's just try it with NordVPN. I'm just kind of trying to show you how it works. So let's just connect to the Swiss location, for example. And the moment I'm connected, as you can tell, it just takes a few seconds. Go ahead and refresh and I should be in Switzerland. It's as simple as that. And of course, I don't want to spend too much time. It's the same thing with Surfshark. You get the idea. But of course, this works across all of these VPNs. These are some of the most legit VPNs that you can get in the industry, which is why you'll find them at the top of most of the top VPN lists. So if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find special deals and discounts in the description if you'd like to check them out, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs.
the end. So feel free to watch them before making the purchase. And if you do make the purchase and want to go back on it, they do have a money back guarantee. So you do have 30 days to test out the service. And this applies to all of their plans. So no worries there at all, since the first 30 days are risk free. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.